welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university creative powerpoint presentation templates designed to help you present your best download the templates for free and make wow factor in your presentations you can get all the tutorials from basic to intermediate to advanced level please like share and subscribe my channel powerpoint university to get more stunning powerpoint tutorials every week in this tutorial i am going to show you how to create this three option slide in powerpoint you can see there are three options with circles inside and when i click a uh, one rectangle object will pop up from the uh, the oval shape which comes from the top one from the right and one from the bottom and there's another slide which I have just put only one in the center of the screen and when I click it will come and then it will show you the second one and then it will show you the third one and there's a trick involved in this one so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint add a new slide right mouse click and go to the format background and give some gradient fill I have used some the combination of the dark and the light blue color go to insert shapes and select a rounded corner rectangle draw the shape something like this and make it less curved just drag this a small uh, orange point make it no outline and you can give some different color to it go to insert shapes and select a oval shape and draw the oval shape somewhere here and make sure that it is center aligned make it no outline select the rectangle and the oval shape and under merge shape select subtract so you can see that that particular option that particular uh, area has been deleted the circle has been deleted go to insert shapes and select the rounded corner rectangle again draw the rectangle smaller one and make it no outline and give a white color to it now i want to send only the one portion the below portion at the behind the this one but when i click send to back it's going all and when i say bring to front also it will not help me see it is coming all up front now there's a trick here i'm going to just cut this particular shape into two parts for that i'm going to select a rectangle draw the rectangle covering the half of the circle select the rectangle and the, the newly added rectangle and under merge shape say fragment and delete the unwanted one which i don't need this and the circle also now you can see that there are two parts to it now now you bring the rectangle here and send to back now you can see only the half portion gone inside so that's the trick here and you can give some a shadow effect to this and if you have the icon add the icon so i'm just going to copy the same icon and place it at the center and select both of these objects and press ctrl g to duplicate it or right mouse click group and again send it back now i'm going to give an animation to this enable the animation pane select the rectangle add animation go to more entrance effects 
and select peek in you can do some modifications if you want to make it more faster or slower you can do it here and if you see when i click it pop ups from inside and i'm going to add some text to it I'm going to use the font called Oswald, make it a white font, bring it to the center. And then you can add some more description to it. So for this I'm just typing equals LORM within bracket 1. It will give me some Latin text. I'm going to reduce the size to fit in this particular rectangle. And I'm going to select both of this text, press Ctrl G to duplicate it. And I'm going to give the same animation, the peak in animation. And make it with previous. Now if you see here, when I click, both will come together. Now similarly, if you see here, if it comes from the bottom means I've just changed the effect from top and for this I make it from right but I have cut it from this side as well you have to cut horizontally and one vertically and likewise I just put this one in the center of the screen and when I click it will pop up from the top, it will pop up from the left or right and from top. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.